She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. You. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I can't read today. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. She's looking for a manga. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, it's me. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Wait, so she did... Did she just start this book that she gave me? Or she read it before? Because she said she wanted to discuss it. Hold on a minute. What's going on? This game is crazy, gonna be fun. All right. Uh, but that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this sensing I made her feel uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. So did that mean I got my poem was good for Yuri because I'm talking to her directly now? If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... Oh, rereading it. That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you two have two copies of the same book? Oh. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Okay. I see. There's something fairly o obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's very engaging and relatable story. Aww. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... Mm. Some crazy crazy tentacle hentai porn or something. And I was like, alright. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is kind of Portrait of Markov. Markov's Manor? Oh my gosh, are we going to magic? Vampires be there. There's an ominous, or there's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That sounds awful. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it, or Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Big Papa? Uh, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Just shapes and beats! Isn't that a name of a game? Welcome to the club! The club? I'm playing literature club, and I say club. Welcome to the crew, my friend. Say, take your photos, follows. Um, um, um. Just playing some literature club here. If you want to know more about Doki Doki or Ed questions, shoot me a message. Oh. Oh, oh, I missed some chat. Hold on. First, I've watched people play it, but know a lot about it. Be mentioned that you, yeah, yeah, I haven't played this yet. Yeah, is that game fun? Just Shapes and Beats? I think I downloaded that for, uh, Switch, the demo, because I wanted to give it a shot. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into these things. No, I didn't. I was making a poem specifically for her. 
Excuse me. She sh she's so shy and re reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories... Oh, that's her. It's just that those kinds of stories... I challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. I like her brain. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I... I'm rambling, aren't I? No, ramble on! Not again. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, you're good! Hey, yeah, see? Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to the other people. That's okay. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please tell me if I stop talking too much. Nope, talk away. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. Ah, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. All right, it's fine if I stay here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. Aw, she's sharing something with me. That's adorable. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's me. Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, uh, Alright. <clears throat> My voice. Wait, you've never played this game? Or have you never played Just Shapes and Beats? Because that would be <laughs> unfortunate. <coughs> I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling's somewhat comforting. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Aw. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <coughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of us. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh my goodness, it's getting hot and heavy! Feels like my left arm is in the way, so insist so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. <clears throat> ah, I guess that it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips the side. Ah, teamwork! When holding it like this, we're huddled even closer than before. Oh, we gotta get into the deep narrator voice. <clears throat> it's actually kind of distracting to me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Oh, she's looking at me now. Oops, I didn't notice that. Yeah? To turn, to turn the page? Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Aw, she's so kind. She's smiling! It's, it's, it's probably the least I can do. And she's been so patient with me. Y yeah Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. 
Instead, I just assume that she's finished. She finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Oh, even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she's also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Uh, I see. <clears throat> Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Big Papa, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, it's so embarrassing that you think that- NO SHIT! Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I didn't really know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. FUCK! What did I do that I didn't choose to do? I guess I meant more of it like it's kind of cute. Nah, the wind, nah. Bitch! Bitch! With the 55 uni bitties! Can I some uni bitties? Oh gosh, I almost spilled all the treats all over my legs. See, take your phone as uni bitties! Nom, 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 nom! Good stuff, good stuff! <laughs> Yeah, I've never played this either. This is a uh, completely blind. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, I. Okay, everyone. I forgot. I can't do her voice. It always goes to Sayori's. Okay, everyone. I don't know. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh. Yuri excels, exhales, spared from the finishing her thought. Spared from finishing her thought. Nice, Razor. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you've been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It, it, it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of her, my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read with you? Um. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun, It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a, a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters on your own time. All right! I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you... Did you remember to write a poem last night? I did! Yeah. My relaxation ends. Yep. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri, Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. <clears throat> Who should I show my poem to first? Hey, Monica showed up. I like your music! Alright, well, okay, I would show it to Yuri, but I just had a really long exchange with Yuri. I kind of want to show it to Sayori, just because she's my friend and she got me into the club, although, she would like my poem, you think? She's into dark stuff, which has weirded me out. Um, all right. Oh, I'm not even on him. That didn't help at all. 
Uh, uh, Siori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Siori Force. There, perfect. She's my friend. That's something I would... If I had to share it with someone, it would be a f closer friend, not some random people I just met. My nose is itchy. She's my good friend, after all. This is a good poem, Big Papa. Plus, her voice is easier to do than yours. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why, I'm it, why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just you wrote one. <clears throat> It just reminds me how you're really a part of the club now. Aw, she's happy. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Big Papa. Deep down, you're really not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Aw, thanks. Oh, thanks, Sayori. I'm not. Oh, wait, I'm not sure if Say Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. You'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Hey, poem! Dear Sunshine. Oh, that we, got, we should do it in her voice, huh? Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Did she just ram- like, write down her thoughts? Click outside poem area to continue. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? <laughs> <coughs> no! Just a little bit. I freaking love her. She's adorable. That's how I do. I wait to the last minute to do that stuff. You can't answer just a little bit to an yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> I freaking love her. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Okay, I feel bad now. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Or it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! I fucking love her! Oh my god! <laughs> I made eggs and she's so happy! <laughs> Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast! <laughs> I get all cranky. She gets hangry. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This is not a scary game! <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time... Oh, wait. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. You do that, Sayori. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. I believe in you. Oh, I get to show it to everyone! Monica. Hi! Oh, please don't judge me. Hi, Big Pop. Oh. Hi, Buck. <laughs> I always forget how to do her voice. Me, 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 me. Nope, that's not it. I need to come up with a way to remember how to do her voice. Hi, Big Papa. That's not it. Hi. My boop, boop. Her voice is hard. There you go. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. 
by the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever need any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. <laughs>